Good day, y'all. It's time to get the day started. Phoenix has been dropped off at school, blah, 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 yada, yada. I'm not even gonna bore you guys with anything else. We're just gonna get into something interesting, I think. One job today, just one job. It's gonna take the whole day. It's the same Mercedes I've been working on. I haven't vlogged it because uh, they just don't want anything filmed, but um, which I can, uh, I can appreciate, I can understand. Um, but it has been a major pain in my butt. Major, 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 major. So imagine this, okay? Imagine your brake lines, your hard brake line underneath the car gets rusty and you need to replace it. Okay, these brake lines are at the assembly line when they're making, building the car. Brake lines go on like it's one of the first things that goes on the chassis of the vehicle when they start putting parts on. Everything underneath is rusted up, which complicates matters so much. Not to mention, I've had to take the exhaust off, the splash guards off, the wheel wells off, the drive line off, the catalytic converter off, the exhaust manifold off, additional heat shields up along the body. I have had to take those off. The fuel tank has had to come down. I have severely, severely under estimated this job I'm losing my butt uh, I mean I'm not losing money but if you go from an hourly rate then I did not bid this, bid this job out correctly at all whatsoever and if I ever do this again then I will be charging three times what I uh, am currently charging anyway just need to get it done I estimated it to the customer I need to stick to my estimate so uh, I'm a man of my word just getting her done well guys, middle of the afternoon and I am having a time. <laughs> so you guys know about this Mercedes, right? Mercedes, European cars and all of their infinite wisdom. I purchased two brake lines for this car, the hard lines that go from the front of the car all the way to the back. The hard brake lines, not the soft, flexible ones. It wasn't bad enough that they didn't have the original ones. They had basically generic pieces that you have to go through and form yourself and put your own fittings on, uh, flaring the ends of them. And I've done that to the left side. And the piece that I got from the dealership from the left side was the correct length, which is pretty awesome. However, the right side also goes to the other side of the car. So it goes straight back over the fuel tank and then it continues back to the wheel and the part numbers were the exact same part numbers and I'm like huh I'm not gonna open this yet because this is gonna be too short and sure enough doing some research call the dealership back and they dig and do some research and they're like oh yeah the left side is five meters long the right side is six meters long Mercedes-Benz expects you to buy two of the brake lines on the right side and then use a union and put them together. Keep in mind that these brake lines are about 150 bucks each right around there. My cost. So, ah, I have found a brake line that I'm going to use. All one piece, no unions. The more unions you have, the more possibility there are for leaks and problems. And I don't like problems or leaks, especially when it comes to brakes, because that could be somebody's life. There's a lot of liability working on people's cars, and it's not just like, oh, you ruined my car. It's like, no, oh, sorry, brakes didn't work, and something bad really happened. I don't, don't even want to hypothesize about it. Anyway, uh, weather today is uh, favorable. It's not raining, so that's good. How are you guys doing today? What was your most challenging thing of the day today? You can post in the comments down below. We'll read it tomorrow. I give you my word. And an update on the destruction construction. I have no idea. Well, they're already putting in things here. Like posts. It'll be interesting to see what they do with this because they haven't even taken down the, mil the main building yet. Who knows? Maybe they're leaving that. But they had people up top like ripping off stuff from it, like the AC units and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but there it is. Switching gears, I just got through putting the legs on this. 
You did an awesome job on this. This looks very nice. <laughs> Even considering my blast holes from the, and again, I didn't finish my thought again last night talking about where this came from. Oh. I got a little further saying that it came from Phoenix's room and this is what the, uh, the this is the uh, subfloor. But the 22 blast is, it was an actual um, gun. There's still one stuck. That, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's an actual gun that blasts in nails uh, so that you can attach wood to uh, concrete. So blast the nail straight through it. So there's still, bla not that one, that's not. Blast hole marks in here. And yes, uh, there, there's like um, a stabilizer. So it's like a rubber stabilizer inside or that goes around the nail. So you'll take the nail and you'll load it in the tip of the gun and it's got this hard rubber stuff that is there, still embedded. And that's what you're gonna say, right? Yeah. Okay, whew, okay. All right, there you go. Nice and sturdy. And look at this, it doesn't wobble either. It does a little bit. No, it I doesn't. I mean, not, not any, it's not wobbling because it's not put together properly. It's just that there's a little bit of clay in the legs. Oh. You mean like that? Yeah. Well, that's not a wobble. But I was I was saying like you don't press down here and oh, it's like a table like yeah. dunk 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 dunk. All right. I like this side better though because it's uh, darker. Darker side. <laughs> and the natural sway in the wood. Is, oh, it is looks the other, more. No, if you if you look at it, even right now, it's already got like a sway in it. But this is the. It's it's like raised so if the feet were on it this way then it wouldn't be like what it sits like this i can't talk it sits like this usually that's my problem no, it's like sagging in the middle but it's not sagging in the middle it is huh no it's not yeah the wood has a bit of a bend in it that's called a bow Sir, the, it's bowed the the wood is bowed the wood is bowed so we should have put the legs on this side so oh that the i see the other direction so when you have a cheap press board bookcase. Yeah, and eventually it starts to Yeah, then you take the shelves and you turn them upside down so it'll like yeah. rectify itself. All right, it's fine for but all for intents what, and purposes. Is, this is exactly what we wanted for wood. All right, for, so. okay. Yeah, if you really wanted to do something, you could like put a hinge in the middle of it. We'll cut it in half and that way we can like fold oh, it over like so it's not as long. Smaller. Yeah, smaller. But if we were to do that, then we would want to reposition the legs so that when it folds over, like those legs would fit inside these legs so it would actually close all the way instead of those legs hitting these legs. It's complicated. It's fine just like that. Okay, I'm done. Slide into the back of the truck. Slide into the back. Like a baby. When it comes out. Babies don't come out like this. Some of them do. Come out like this. <laughs> okay. This project is done. <laughs> My work is done here. Thanks. You're welcome. My wife sure does make some weird concoctions. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> uh, oh, what is this? You don't want it. Where'd it come from? Birthday party. Oh. Yay, awesome. I got treats. What is this? That is a long forgotten thing that I was so excited to get. And then it got stuffed into the very back of the closet and forgotten. Oh, is that the mushroom? Yeah. Oh, mushrooms. And I feel so horrible that it got forgotten, but it seems like it's still alive. So I'm super excited. Oh, good. Those are mushrooms. That, what? Yeah, I know. That's what I said, too. I'm like, what is this? I thought it was like some broth or something that she had in the freezer, and she's pulling it out, and the bag's leaking or something like that. That's disgusting. Yeah, that is disgusting. That uh, is who gave this to us? Uh, it was Todd. Todd. Oh, it's something. not mushroom. That's it is mushroom. rotten cheese. That's what it looks like, huh? Yeah. And then over here, she has a plethora of yeasts. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'll take it back. What are you doing? I'm gonna open it and put it in your mouth. Oh no, I don't want it right now. Oh, okay. Thanks oh, though. Too much, man. Oh, too too much. much, man. All right, so uh, it's bedtime. Phoenix is gonna go to bed. No, it's not bedtime. It's not I'm bedtime. gonna grab a shower. Hey, you get to sleep in tomorrow. That's too You get to sleep in tomorrow. Yes! <laughs>
It's a late start Wednesday. Hey guys. What are you doing in our cabinet? And she's like, oh, just stop. Oh. <laughs> All right, and there you go. Uh, actually, a little known fact, uh, and she's been uh, watching some past videos. Oh, so many past videos. And so many to get video descriptions for Guinness. And you know your relationship is rock solid when you can watch you and your ex. <laughs> well, I have back to say it's day. been a little weird watching watching you come home from work and being like, hi, honey, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh. <laughs> but that's your past relationship, so. And you know what they say. Let's put the past behind us. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, so we're going to do CLC for um, both nights. Uh, we do have a new subscriber. With all the news, we have one new subscriber Aww. that has said, hey, I saw the news. Uh, so let's get started. Oh, Joe Poppenhagen, something for your jar. Complain away. And I think... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot to make the jar. You forgot to make the jar. Um, Joe Poppenhagen... $20 super thanks. That made my day and that really made me happy. I'm not complaining right now. That's a jar. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Buffy's this like, is your oh, jar. that's my jar. Start complaining, I'm getting the jar out. All right, I'm not gonna complain. I'll just zip my lips. Van Isle NSX, carts, not buggies. <laughs> no, it's a buggy. Destiny R7 saw the news report and came to sub and say hi. Awesome. Welcome. De Destiny R7. Oh. Hello. Uh, Ryan Joseph Haywood 96. Maybe it's because the big Amish population here, but in Pennsylvania, calling shopping carts buggies is a common thing, but you don't hear both. Or, but you do hear both. I'm sorry. Uh, Moni, sorry Angie, but this Canadian from the East, mind you, also calls it a shopping cart, so I gotta I mean, go with Troy with, I on this one. sometimes would call it a cart, I guess, but often it was buggy, and I catch myself all the time saying buggy, and you're always like... I'm like, what? What is that? <laughs> I think of, when you when you say the word buggy, the very first thing that pops into my head, rubber baby, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Oh, I knew I was gonna screw that up. Take Scare Media, this is uh, Jared, AKA Terror Clowns from back in the day. We've been in touch for like a while, but never met in person. Well. Maybe one day, Jared. Uh, on the news, go on, Troy. So cool, you're still vlogging. You rock, man. Actually, you rock. <laughs> that just brings back so much memories. There's so many memories. Only GRT. According to the official definition, a buggy refers to a lightweight four-wheeled carriage drawn by a single <laughs> horse through occasionally by two. So all right, all right, it all right. definitely <laughs> does not refer to a shopping cart. Yes, it does. Keep your fuzzy ears. <laughs> Angie is right. It's buggy. Huh. Thank you. <laughs> Hiking chef. And a wheeled one you push is a cart and the handhelds are baskets. Oh well, yeah, I can see that. Don Chance. Buggy still buggy. So cool. <laughs> Josh Bryant. I would never trust myself to paint or stain anything on those nice new floors. <laughs> <laughs> I did get any on the floor. That's good. <laughs> Usually it's the wife that would complain about the husband doing projects and stuff inside. I, and I'm not complaining because I don't want to put anything in the jar. <laughs> uh, when you don't have a garage and it's not favorable uh, weather outside, you have to, you just have to do it. Marie, Marie Winton, congrats on being on the news. That's so awesome. I've never heard a shopping cart called a buggy in the Pacific Northwest, but I have heard a baby stroller referred to as a buggy. Sorry, Angie. But in that term, also a buggy, uh, I've never seen a buggy uh, stroller being pulled by a horse either. Hiking Chef, uh, definitely, definitely smooth cast iron, unless it was made before 1953. I'd do it to mine. Ah, see, there you go. Real fan Jason, yes, carts. Buggies seems British. Okay, but to be fair, she is from fair. British Columbia, so. <laughs> weak connection there but all right <laughs> you don't want to insult the queen she's uh, dead <laughs> halloween fur uh that piece of wood looks really good that looks like a professional good job too and oh see troy goodness. made it on tv i know what i said or i know i said it before but that's amazing troy great job well you know something it took all of us 
No, no. Uh, Tarkus said, that wood board looks fantastic. Nice work. Oh, you guys are too kind. It's a piece of plywood with some stain on it. But, but and, and a lot of sanding. <laughs> Only GRT, that piece of wood is unbelievable. Wow. wow. The video presentation of the vlog is awesome. <laughs> Very well done by them. Yeah, you know, um, I haven't talked to him in the last couple of days because, you know, he's working and everything. But the gentleman that, um, the photojournalist that came out and did everything, his name is Michael Driver. And he's actually very good at what he does. And he's got, like, accolades to prove it. He's very decorated in the community and I, I had no idea when he came to, to film right us. before he left he mentioned um, that he had some awards and stuff like that yeah but he's he was very modest the whole time he didn't yeah. know it so really cool individual and um, I mean he um, I, I would like to talk to him more in the future and keep in touch with him uh, Nicole a really positive outlook too. yeah that, yeah I like that and I stalked his Facebook a little bit too <laughs> and uh, he seems like a very outstanding, ups, upstanding individual, family man, so that's awesome. Uh, Nicole Flynn, hello Troy, Angie Phoenix, congratulations on making the news. I can't wait for it to be in, the, can't wait for you to be in the Guinness World Records. I'll definitely be buying that one when it comes out. And yes, it's carts, buggies is a Texas thing. Oh, I'm learning all sorts of things here. I know, you know, it, every day you learn something new. Morning, uh, Phoenix. Oh, morning, Phoenix. Uh, and then um, all the comments from yesterday, quickly, Walter Holbury first, Joe Poppenhagen, numerology. Is that the term that I was looking for? You don't know what I was looking for because you didn't watch that vlog. I, I don't know. When you just notice numbers, like when numbers stand out, like Phoenix is in the truck and he says, hey, there's only like X what? amount of miles until 80,000 miles. Or, that makes sense. Or you're able to look at, oh my gosh, look, it's day 7,666. Oh, 666, ha, ha, ha. When you look for stuff like that. Anyway, Halloween friend, I downloaded Roblox just because my niece is, or she wanted me to so I could play with them. And honestly, I don't understand what I'm doing in that game. I just kind of follow them. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Real fan Jason, if I can get some free time, I could probably knock out some descriptions. I just need to know which ones. Uh, everything is listed on the Facebook page, and I've been updating that daily, if not more than daily, because we're like really trying to get this done. Halloween for you also say that your truck is a 2012 Chevy Silverado and you've barely hit 70,000 miles on it. Wow. And you don't have far to drive because work's not that far unless you go camping. I read your comment. Uh, ben Massey, Troy, check your wall plug uh, where the camera charger is. I had a loose one where I charge, charge my phone. Uh, the lights turn on, but that's... Uh, we have an item that plugs into the USB. You put the battery in it and the light turns on so you know that it's got power. Uh, but for some reason I had it connected to the computer last night or the night before and it didn't seem to charge when it was connected to the computer so maybe I forgot to turn the camera off I don't know Do Three, look, is it like a strong charger connection there typically it, it will charge it by the morning oh. and the old camera it didn't used to do that the new camera it has been charging it so I'm like oh yay good to go unplug it go out there it's like oh battery's almost dead 360 Chris 88. Thanks, Troy. You're welcome. Don Chance. Good luck with the chickens. Hi, Buffy. I'll take some chicken. Uh, yeah, Nancy's broody. She wants to have babies. Yeah. Maybe we should get her a chick. That's what Phoenix tonight. He was like, please, 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 please. And then he's like, well, if we get one, we have to get two. And I was like, <laughs> uh, the new ones that we got, though, they're pretty quiet. Yeah, they are. Which is very nice. Until they're laying an egg, they're very vocal. Wow. I'd be pretty vocal too if I had the size of a cucumber come out the size of a It can be done pea. silently. Oh. <laughs> I gave birth silently twice. It can be done. <laughs> uh, and finally, uh, Ben Massey, I turned, you turned, huh? I turned 114,000 miles old yesterday while stopped at a service plaza and I believe Besides being smart, it's called numerology. Well, you're the second person to say that. Awesome. All right. Anything to add for the day? No. That's it. All right. Happy awning. See you guys tomorrow. Good night.